All right, here we go. So, um, the, this guy is Paul Sandu, Sandhu, or whatever. Um, that Sandu. And uh, are you subscribed to him? I was. I, I, I subscribed him for a while, a few years ago, but then um, I started to to see that is uh, is teaching uh, very very heavy and and strange things that I I, I really don't it's hard to, uh, to to believe in everything he says but some some things I I believe and that's why I subscribe him but then I I left his channel because of what I just said. So he's this is it's interesting to me that this guy is, is saying that Jesus either lied or was ignorant, one of the two. Yes, what he says is that um, Jesus. Um, he, he says that Satan. Um, he he says that Jesus said that Satan was a murderer since the beginning, and he says um, which is not true. Jesus isn't is uh, that is not true. Right. So let's listen to what he he says. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay was from the beginning. Contrast to Palaios, old as having existed for a long period of time. I can't hear it. So an old man. Oh, you can't hear it? No. Um. Oh, no, this is no good. Why can't you hear it? Um. I can't answer it to that. <laughs> the man would be Palaios. I don't know why. Do I need to? Do I need to make it louder, or you just can't hear it at all? I just can't hear it all. All right. Well, let me play it, and then I'll tell you what he says. Okay. Okay. Palaios is something that has always existed in its present form. The Bible does not teach that Satan has existed in his present form for. The Bible does not ex does not teach that Satan has existed in his present form. All right. For a long period of time. For a long period of time. So that's not true, either. But that that's not what we're going to discuss. And okay, so you can see the screen, right? So here on the left side, we got a bunch of comic book stuff here four ages of creation the first age was the golden age of perfect worlds and creatures followed by well first of all that's comic book stuff that's not in from the bible three ages of evil he says three ages of evil that's not in the bible silver age of angels that's not in the bible bronze age of men that's not in the bible iron age of beasts not in the bible so nothing presented on the screen is uh, lines with what we read in the Bible. Okay, it's not s biblical. It's not supported by the Scripture. I, I just want to point that out. How can mean that he may have existed in some other form a long time ago, like for example as an angel, and then he just magically transformed into a serpent? No, that's okay. Not what the Bible teaches. Okay, the Bible clearly teaches. Are you listening? He yep. Um, he says that uh, Satan was not an angel magically transformed into a serpent and he he's drawing up a straw man I can tell All right, hold on just one second he was the old serpent from his very he was the old serpent very beginning Jesus also thought that he was a murderer from the beginning which is not true yeah keep saying okay. what, what he's saying please. yeah yeah so right here it is let me Repeat. Let me uh, play this again so I can quote him. Jesus also okay. thought that he was okay. a murderer. 
Jesus also taught or thought? Hold on a second. Old serpent from his very beginning. Jesus also thought that he was a murderer. From it sounds like thought. Um, but I'm pretty sure he meant to say taught. Let me let me yeah, listen one more time. Yeah. Old serpent from his very beginning. Jesus also taught that he was a murderer from the beginning. Jesus also taught that he was a murderer from the beginning. Yeah. Which is not true. Okay. Which is not true, he says. Wow. This is amazing. Oh. All right. So, so first of wow. all, <clears throat> let's see. Um, is that what Jesus teaches in John chapter 8? Let's read what he says. Okay, ye are, <clears throat> excuse me, ye are of your father the devil. This is John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. He's talking about those that claim to have bloodlines to Abraham. And the uh -huh. lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So, he's talking about the devil, and mm -hmm. they are doing the lust of the devil, and the devil is a murderer. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yeah. And abode not, and bides not in the truth. There is no truth in him. Mm-hmm. He speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay, so what this Paul guy is saying is that Jesus lied. Yeah, and that's so, what he's saying. And uh, that's a pretty bold statement. It, it's, it's amazing that he's saying that. And also he says that uh, Satan was the anointing anointed cherubim he was good and perfect and then uh, until the until inequity was found in him uh, and he's completely contradicting what jesus said about satan being a murderer since the beginning he's calling jesus a liar of course we well, have yeah, because what jesus says is it, it's in conflict with what he teaches. So if he has no other choice but to call Jesus a liar. And, and so, I, you know, I wish more people would just be honest about it like this guy is. He's being honest that he thinks Jesus is a liar because I see, I see this a lot. People are teaching something contrary to the Word of God. Well, just be honest and say that, well, Jesus lied. Okay, so here's a great example of this. All right, so uh -huh. here's the, in my opinion, here's the root of the problem. Uh, the root of the problem is thinking that s the Satan or the devil is a god. That's, in uh -huh. my opinion, one of the biggest errors in the world today. Satan is not a god. So if you imagine Satan as a god, then you, you might imagine all this, uh, he was perfect, and then... He screwed up, like he, mm -hmm. you know, and then he got cast out of heaven because he screwed up, and he was, you know, I don't know, whatever they teach. Mm -hmm. You're probably more familiar with exactly what he teaches, but... Yeah, uh, about what you said about the comics, yeah, comics, uh, books, yeah, he, he, he I think he, he based... O almost all his teachings are about um, those kind of, of movies that we we see these days in Hollywood. There's there's a bunch of them: the Marvel and Iron Man and Spider Man and uh, Wonder Woman and and he says that it was literally like that. We had uh, he starts in golden age and he, he says that first there was a perfect creation and people were uh, super powerful with um, a lot 
with m m magic powers and supernatural powers yeah. and yes uh, the uh, and he also says that uh, Hollywood they made the, the they made movies about those ages the, those golden ages uh, they are um, literally making the movies as what as it was back then uh, it's deranged um, yeah yeah and and that's for me it's very weird <laughs> stuff but one thing i i i that that i learned from him and i i liked it uh, it was that um, in genesis 6 the sons of god were not angels but they were the sons of seth uh, and that's why i I, I, I don't i don't like that at all i, I gotta i gotta stop that right there i don't like that at all why would no. you stop at seth okay first of all so who was the father of seth the father of seth was um adam so if Adam wasn't a son of God, is that what you're saying? Is that what they're saying? Uh, yeah. Um, so I think that I need you to teach me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. So Luke chapter three, verse thirty-eight, which and it's going through a genealogy, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam which was the son of God. So okay. to say that these guys were the sons of Seth, why would you stop there unless you're trying to project some sort of strange and bizarre doctrine? Adam, oh, okay. Adam was the son of God, okay? There's no reason okay. at all unless you're trying to trick somebody to stop okay. at Seth and not say Adam. If Adam is the son of God, and the sons of God in Genesis 6, they are the sons of Adam, who is the yeah, son of God. true. So, but now, because of our Lord Christ Jesus, now are we the sons of God. All right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let me go uh, back uh, real quickly while it's still on my mind. Um, so... Uh oh, I was gonna say that I forgot. What was I gonna say? Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Give me a second. I'll remember. All right. So this, uh, oh, this idea. Okay. So this idea that the world was perfect, and I've heard a lot of people, not just Paul, teach it. A lot of people have taught this that it, they were perfect in the Garden of Eden, and that's not true. If they were perfect, they would not have sinned against God. They would not have disobeyed God. They would have not went against God. So they weren't perfect. The idea is ludicrous. It's ridiculous. They were not perfect in the Garden of Eden. Okay? And so they're kicked out of the Garden of Eden, and they're, they're not perfect after that either. They start to have children and all this. And what happens? The world goes to poop, and God destroys that world. Well, after Noah and his sons uh, get out of the ark, they had another opportunity to do it themselves, and they screwed that up again. So there's a long history of man screwing it up. Man can't do it on his own. Man is not perfect on his own, and we are 100% at the mercy of God. We need God. There's no way around it. It's evident all throughout history from the time that they were in the Garden of Eden to right now. And uh, so change is coming and uh, we are um, uh, looking forward to uh, the everlasting kingdom where there is no sin, no evil, no wickedness. Can you hear the rain and the thunder? No. Oh, okay. Because it just started raining pretty good right now. 
here is raining too. <laughs> nice, nice. I love it. I love it. So, anyways, that's all I want to say. This idea that there was a perfect world, that's, 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 uh, that goes against everything that we learn in the Bible. Okay, but let me, uh, let me ask you. You bet. Uh, the word, um, uh, came to, through a lot of changes, right? Oh, one of them was because of the flood. Um, don't you think that the, the world might be um, perfect in the beginning of creation because God said that um, and God saw that it was good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, but n nowadays it's not good. We have a, a we have. A, f I can give as an example um, uh, the wilderness. The wilderness is not. It's not a perfect place. It's too hot and nothing grows there, and it's not a perfect place. And sometimes I I think. To myself that perhaps uh, when God created the world the world was perfect everything was green and we could grow things everywhere then because because uh, of, of sin Adam and Eve they they sinned and and God cursed the, the the earth? No? Um, well, let's see. In Genesis 3, verse 17, And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Okay, so um, what you're saying is that the the earth was perfect before that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so. Uh, let me see. First of all, it, to, to nitpick, I would say it's never mentioned that the earth was perfect. But God saw that it was good. Good. It was very good. Very good. Absolutely. But very good is... It's not perfect. Technically not perfect. Now, let me yeah. ask you. If it was perfect, okay... Um, and then, where did Adam come from? Mm. Where did Adam come from? Yeah. Yeah, God created Adam. He came from dust. God made it from and the dust of the ground. Yeah. And then, he breathed life into his nostrils. And it came to life. And, and, um, here. Let me, I love that verse. So, and the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Mm -hmm. All right, so, if the earth is perfect and Adam, excuse me, Adam came from the earth, then shouldn't he be perfect? Mm -hmm. So, in that sort of sense, the earth couldn't be perfect, perfect, in that sort of sense, right? Okay. So, I think that maybe this idea of the earth being perfect. If it was perfect, then there would be no flaws. There would be no need for more. 
Uh-huh. All right, so I, I think there, there's really no, in my opinion, there's no reason to teach this idea that the world was perfect and we're trying to get back to it. No, we're looking forward to a better world, not a world that once was. Okay. Excuse me, I got a cough. <coughs> okay, there we go. I feel better. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so, anyways, that that's really all I want to say on on that in regards to this idea of a perfect world and it's interesting he's got perfect worlds mm -hmm. and creatures mm -hmm. See? so yes. so why um, what if it was perfect then why would there be you know sin right mm -hmm. so it couldn't have been perfect but <clears throat> we are looking forward to a perfect world yes amen yep okay look forward for the second coming of Jesus Christ our Lord yeah now will that world be perfect yeah Yeah. Yeah, you you're right. Um, and what um, do you have to say uh, uh, if one of his subscribers see this this video? What do you have to to say to them? about this Paul Sandu saying that Jesus was wrong in, in what he, he was saying. Well, yeah it's, about, yeah, it's interesting to me that nobody seems to even pick up on it. Yeah, you, you, uh, yeah I, I, I think I was the, the only one and he, he, called, me, he called me a Pharisee. <laughs> Yeah. That's so funny. Instead of answering my questions, instead of answering my questions, he called me a Pharisee. Yeah, that's isn't that odd? Very, very, very odd. Oh. And and I, I have the idea that people uh, treat him as a god. They have such an an admiration for him and so, I, I don't know they are totally blind with his teachings yeah 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 like a guru right yeah yeah that's it I mean blind obedience you gotta yeah <laughs> you gotta you gotta uh, appreciate appreciate that to some aspect but you know the it's very dangerous at the same time. Yeah, and also it seems like he, he, he doesn't like to be confronted with nothing because if he, if you were were a person f from from God, or I don't I don't know if I say it right or if he was a perfect a, a person uh, from God, he. You would enjoy to answer my question and teaching me because I'm asking something that I don't know and I'm uh, in this case I know because is really uh, is clearly calling it twisted in and at the end he called Jesus a lie he didn't say Jesus is lying he said uh, Jesus said this and this isn't true if it isn't true uh, by consequence is a lie of course and I could be wrong by asking him that and it would be 
E if you, if you was a, 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 a godly man, you, it would be a pleasure, a pleasure for him to, to answer my questions and say, oh, you're wrong, but I teach you, blah, blah, blah. But now he, it was like he, he punched me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't even answer it. He didn't say, no. no, I misspoke, or no, you heard me wrong, no, or yes, Jesus did lie, you know. And he didn't go either uh -huh. route. He just said, ask intelligent questions. Like, he's far more intelligent than you. He's so intelligent, he doesn't have to answer your yeah. challenging question. Yeah, that's true. If he was so smart, though, it ought to be easy for him to address your comment in an, mm -hmm. in an equally intelligent way. Um, mm -hmm. So, what he's saying is that you are accusing him of calling Jesus a liar. So, give me a second here. I'm going to... He Play this again. Old serpent from his very beginning. Old serpent Jesus from the very beginning. Jesus also thought that he was a murderer from the beginning. Jesus also thought that he was a murderer from the beginning. Hold on a second. Thought or taught? Very beginning. Jesus also thought that he was a murderer. Man, is there a transcript here? I wonder what the transcript says. Give me a second here. Can you see the screen? I'm going to try to pull up the transcript. Yeah, but. Jesus, okay. is, in the transcript, it says thought. Je at the very beginning, Jesus also thought that he was a murderer from the beginning. And so, so Jesus just, he just wasn't very smart, like this Paul guy, you know. Mm -hmm. He thought, what well, you know, I mean, that that's an incredible statement to make because you're, what you're saying is Jesus was ignorant. Yeah, and the no. He's saying that the, the Almighty God is ignorant. Yeah, is ignorant. exactly. God is he kind of stupid, is what the way I take it. Ignorant. He just yeah. God just didn't know. Uh, but Paul Sandu knows. Yeah. God. Yeah. So that he's above but God. Sandu knows everything. And Jesus, he just he was making it up as he goes, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So in Isaiah 29 verse 16, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work of him that made it, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? I mean, mm -hmm. isn't this exactly what Paul's saying, that... He that Paul's the frame, and he's saying that the person that framed him didn't have any understanding. Mm -hmm. Because God is the uh, Jesus is the one that made us. Jesus is God Almighty. Jesus was the one in the mountain talking to mm -hmm. Moses. Jesus mm -hmm. was there in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't Paul. Yeah. Exactly, Jimmy, my friend, mi, mi amigo. Yeah. All right, so have we had enough of uh, picking on Paul, or do you, is there anything else you want to go over? Uh, for now, it's enough of picking on Paul. Uh, yeah. yeah, big dumb. Big, thank you big dumb. for okay. helping me. All right, all right, thank you. This is very interesting stuff, and... Uh, you know, I, it, these guys, it's amazing to me that they could be so nonchalant about, ah, oh, Jesus, just a big dummy. Jesus didn't know. I mean, just nonchalant, like, no big deal. Old oh, serpent uh -huh. from his very beginning. Jesus also thought that he was a murderer. To, to say that about Jesus, it Not should the be... beginning, which is not... I don't know how to say it in English. I think it's it should be trembling before God. Oh yeah. Oh, he will be too. On the yeah. On the day. Yeah. He's showing 
showing respect and and everything uh, it's amazing to me that <laughs> he isn't afraid he, uh, that one day he's, he, he goes before God and God is going to ask him why he was teaching that kind of stuff and deceiving a lot of people. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. I'm not even sure that God even has to ask him because he's going to know in his heart that what he's been doing is evil. He's going to know yeah. it. He's going to know it down to his core that what he's doing is wrong. And it's a, it's even amazing that there are so many people that are just oblivious. Like, like, mm -hmm. like hey, Jesus is a liar. And they, and they don't, doesn't even, I don't know, if, are these guys not paying attention? It's just mm -hmm. incredible that nobody yeah. calls them out on that. You're the only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's a good job out of you. I I think uh, I would encourage people to to cut right or wrong, call me out, and call others out. And that's how we sharpen one another. That's how we grow the, in conversation. Mm -hmm. Think about this. I'll, I'll end it on this. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hold on. Oops. Hold on a second. And keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And so, uh -huh. uh, again, just uh, let's let's talk about it, right? Uh -huh. Right. Okay. All right, good job out of you, and thank you for uh, talking to me about this. I love it. I love talking about this stuff. Thank you, Jimmy.